Use the power of emotional ownership to get more stuff done. Personal effectiveness is not just about doing stuff. It's also about doing them right and doing more of them. One way to truly take things to the next level is to use emotional ownership. You see, a lot of Americans struggle with their job because, at some level or other, they feel divorced from their work. There's an emotional disconnect between who they are and the things that they do to put food on the table. It's no surprise that a lot of people simply hate their jobs. It's not a shock that a lot of these people are not all that productive. Also, the quality of their work is nothing to write home about. If any of these applies to you, you can turn things around by simply using the power of emotional ownership. Here's how you do it. Decide to truly own the stuff you are working on. When you are assigned a task or a project, understand that it will reflect on you. It's not just a job. It is not some trivial collection of tasks on a piece of paper. Also, you're not just a cog in the machine. I know it may seem basic. It may seem simple. It might even be a task that almost anybody can do. But guess what? It's still important. It's still worth doing to the very best of your ability. It is also imperative that you do more of it. Why? The results you produce with this task reflects on your character. You have to operate at that level. This is no longer a question of doing things to put food on the table. This is no longer a question of punching the clock for eight hours and then punching out so you can earn a paycheck. This is about personal pride. Let personal pride push your personal effectiveness upward and outward. Ask yourself these questions. What does my work say about me? What does my work reveal about my values? What does my work say about my destiny as a person on this planet? What does my performance at work say about my impact on my world? These are very big questions because most people refuse to ask these questions. They think that their boss is somehow entitled to give them a paycheck every two weeks. If you, on the other hand, ask yourself these questions, chances are you will be able to produce more work at a higher level of quality, and guess what will happen? Your boss would be a fool not to promote you. Your boss would be an idiot not to give you leadership positions. Most people struggle with their income precisely because they want to do the very least to avoid getting fired. I'm telling you that's not good enough. That's not going to cut it. You're not performing at a highly effective level if that is your attitude. You have to let your work reflect your personal pride. This is about you. You may be pushing a button at a factory all day every day, but guess what? You have to be the very best button pusher if you really have pride in yourself. Pride gives you a power of emotional ownership. You know when people act out of pride, things get real because there is an emotional component there. Use this to work for you instead of against you. I know a lot of people who get into fights because of pride issues. Well, use that same dynamic to work for you. However, this time, the fight is not against other people, but against yourself. It's a fight against laziness, mediocrity, and lack of imagination. It's also a fight against inefficiency. You see, when you accept the idea that whatever you produce is a reflection of your personal pride, you take emotional ownership. This is not just small stuff. These are not trivial tasks that really don't add up to much of anything. Instead, this is a big deal. This is about you, who you are, what you're about, what your values are, and your qualities as a person. If you think along these lines, you will no longer be going through the motions. Instead, you're going to be looking at the actual results that you're doing and will try to line that up with the personal image you have of yourself. Framing things this way mentally enables you to work to produce the highest quality. It also enables you to work to produce more. Pride leads to efficiency. Have you ever been assigned to a work group where you were lucky enough to know somebody who actually took pride in their work? It really is mind-blowing because these people go beyond the call of duty. They look at what they're doing, and then they don't just go through the motions. They don't believe in good enough. Instead, they connect the dots and see if they can step things up in terms of output, quality, or both. Also, they look at automation. The most effective people I know always look for existing software to speed up what they're doing. They're not doing this just to save time, mind you. They're doing this to give themselves enough time so they can step up the quality of their work and give them enough resources to automate their jobs even further. Many highly effective people also use their previous work as templates. They then learn from their previous work to constantly increase quality and this yields greater efficiency. Do you see how this works? This is the mindset that you need to adopt. Unfortunately, if you don't take pride in what you're doing, it's going to be very hard to assume emotional ownership. 
It's going to be too tempting to just go through the emotions. It's just too tempting to look at what you're doing as something that is really not all that important because, hey, let's face it, you're just another cog in the machine. Well, if you don't take pride in what you do, don't be surprised if your boss doesn't take pride in you. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.